I'm now going to show you some of the UINAV component events that you have. So first of all, you can use your nav buttons on clicked, on pressed and on released events for whatever logic you want. So if you want something to happen when this UINAV component is selected or pressed, you can use this event. You also have the on navigated to and the on navigated from events, which are called when this UINAV component is navigated to or from. So for instance, I'm going to print I'm going to print this UINAV component's name when it is navigated to. As you can see, it says here, my component one was navigated to, my component. And the same thing for the on navigated from event. It works similarly. You also have a couple useful UINAV component subclasses which are the option box and the slider. So I'm going to add one of those to this widget. I'm just going to restore this, these navigation rules. So the first thing I want to show you is this option box. The way this works is it is a UINF component that has a handful of options that you can have the, the player select. So by default, it uses a number range, which is from one to five with an interval of one. And I can change it to instead use a group of string options. So I can have it allow for yes, no, or maybe. And if I play the level, I can now go to this UINAV option and change it from yes, no, maybe. And it also works with directional input, of course. And then we have the UINAV slider, which allows you to expose a number of values between the min and the max value with a specific interval. Keep in mind that the slider has either a nav text or a spin box. So you can have it update a value that is just a text block, or you can have a spin box that allows you to put a specific number. I'm just going to change these colors to something visible. So I'm going to have it be red when it's not being selected, and I'm going to have it be blue when it is selected. Okay, so as you can see, it turns blue. I can change it from 0 to 1 with an interval of 0 0.1. I can also change the spin box to something else, and it will snap to the values that are allowed within the, the interval. 